Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading. For those of you struggling to find love, we are going to find out what are the obstacles blocking you from finding love. Today is the 25th of September 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.36 a.m. Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love a Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What are the obstacles for Virgos looking for love? Okay. Make sure you subscribe, Virgo. It's free to subscribe. Bear in mind that this is a general reading. May or may not resonate with you. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now let's look at the first card, the Six of Cups of Virgo. Either the obstacles are one of it, okay? State what resonates. Could be because of children or could be because of going back to the past because the Six of Cups could mean, you know, returning to an ex, returning, returning to an ex. Maybe this is like, because Two of Wands is here and then Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, it's like giving an ex a chance or waiting for an ex to return it could mean that okay because the two of wands still looking towards the left even though you know there's this this person is holding this what do you call the globe but hoping for a future with somebody in the past okay for some of you so it's because of children six of cups or Six of Cups could also mean like living in like a place for a long time, um, like a hometown energy, perhaps perhaps getting out of the same old environment. It could be literally or metaphorically. I um, hope that makes sense. Some people need to get out of they're familiar places because the Six of Cups definitely indicates familiarity. Either it's going back to an ex or still waiting for an ex or if could be because of children or you just have been in the same place or same mentality for a very long time. It feels a bit stuck, to be honest. All right. And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be because you're prioritizing your work and you're not really taking very active actions, not investing enough time or energy into love or dating. Because in that of Pentacles, as you can see, it's the horse is not moving and Pentacles is money. And that Pentacles is the most hardworking night of all nights. Okay, some of you, maybe you could be like a um, very busy single parent as well because you have to take care of your kids and then you have to work. And you don't know how to divide your time. You don't know how to share your time with children or with work and with dating. That's for some of you, okay? Stay where it resonates. Queen of Wands. And then we've also got the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords. You could be embodying all of these court cards here. Virgo, now the Queen of Wands and the Hangman. Yeah, for some of you, your passion when it comes, it could be you just super passionate about your work to a point where you don't really have time or you're not prioritizing love. Um... Or you could be looking to reconcile with someone from your past. And don't tell me in the comment box below, Oh, I forgot about the past, blah, blah, blah. I don't want the past. You don't want the past. You've forgotten about your past person. Then why do you guys keep watching the videos about an ex returning and things like that? Um, and But anyway, save, save, save your time from commenting 
that kind of stuff. Okay, if this is not your reading, just go watch, watch another video, go watch another um, YouTuber or tarot reader. Anyways, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse. And for some of you, Virgo, your obstacle is like, could be because you, because these are very childish, immature energy. Whether it's because you get on with somebody too quickly in the beginning of the connection or expecting way too much in the beginning because the queen of wands is like a go-getter very passionate that's just for some of you the the virgos who are like go-getters very very passionate like that kind of virgos i'm also a virgo by the way i'm not picking on anybody okay but i'm sensing like there is a group of virgo here who would like fall in love very very quickly or um show like too much interest in the beginning of a connection even without knowing if this person is really that interested or if this person is committed the committed type and i do see virgo work could be standing in your way whether it's you working on your children providing for your children or providing for yourself providing for your family or just super ambitious because the Queen of Wands is very, very ambitious. And for another group of you, Virgo, it's you um, falling in love too quickly or expecting something from someone too quickly. And Queen of Wands can also be quite aggressive. So moving, moving too fast or too aggressively, showing too much interest. And the Queen of Swords is here. And for another group of you, Virgo, the Queen of Swords is maybe it's you having set your boundaries you may have super high standards which is nothing wrong nothing wrong with that but but sometimes it can come off a little bit cold or too structured i feel like it's for another group of you virgo okay this is one group this is another group <laughs> And maybe Queen of Swords, you know, Queen of Swords is bitter because she has had been lied to, cheated on. So she has her guards up, she has her boundaries, and she's no nonsense. But, you know, sometimes I guess we can't be too strict. And she's very, very strict too. Because nobody's perfect. And a lot of Virgos are perfectionists. So that could be standing in your way, that could be an obstacle. The hangman is here, judgment in reverse, and making the wrong judgment call or just not taking too long as well with the hangman here to take certain actions. But some of you, it's like maybe just too, you know, the thing is, the thing with the queen of wands is too, passion, too passionate about for someone or for a connection, it may come off as desperation that's just for one group of you and another group of you are just way too laid back okay that's what i'm picking up on this is a very very laid back energy and nine of pentacles here is also in reverse some of it's because you know you are prioritizing other things in your life and there's a lot of money here so it could be because of work family Let's see more. And you have super high standards. I don't know. I do see like three different groups of you. One is super strict. And another one is... One is super strict and expect too much. Another one may come off like a little bit... Another group of you may come off like a little bit aggressive uh, or thirsty. Okay. And then another group will be like just... Okay, I'm not doing anything. A very passive energy. So just kind of like very laid back. So try to sort of like balance all of this together. <laughs> um, not too much of anything. So I've, I, because I can see like three different extremes here. Okay, but it could also be you, Virgo, sometimes depending on who, whom or where you're at, your situation, you may embody all three of these characters. Sometimes you're either coming on too hard or sometimes you are just way too laid back and then sometimes you're just laying down your rules and your 
you know, the Queen of Swords also likes to, it's very critical as well. Um, that's why some of you Virgos have super high expectations and you can be very critical. And um, because I guess you just don't want to make the wrong judgment call, right? You don't want to choose the wrong person. But sometimes, again, it can come off like a little bit too harsh, okay? That's for some of you because especially, especially if you... If you meet, if you meet your potential partner who isn't like really you, and potential partner who doesn't really get you, okay, don't really know you or don't really know the way you think, how you think. Chariot here is in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Some of you, it's because you're not socializing, um, because three of cups is a socializing energy. You may not be socializing enough. You you know that's why we've got the hermit as a Virgo, although it's not here, but I can already see with this three of cups and whatever. Not socializing could be an introvert as well. That could also be one of the reasons. All right, Virgo. Haven't done this reading in a while, so struggling a little bit, but anyways, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe if it serves you well. And it's free to subscribe, make sure you do. And if you're unaware, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. Um, I'm going live later to do personal readings, but it's not free. It's for super chat, paid reading only, okay? Anyways, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love ya. Bye.